Yo, what is up people? Back with another video this week. I'm gonna show you how I make a beat for Eli Sostre. So really what his beats are made of are just sad vibes with heavy drums, just hard hitting drums. So let's get right into it. So yeah, the first thing I've got here I was using let's see if that opens. Analog lab, I was using like a synth keys. So it sounds like this. I tracked it out so it sounds like this so it sounds very lo-fi type I did that through the lossy then I added a chorus reverb took out some lows and some highs and then delay so he tends to use a lot of vocal chops in his beats which give it a good uh, texture and feel to the vibe that he's going for. So for this I recorded my own vocals, so they sound like this. The effects I used for this were auto-tune, I just turned the uh, retune speed right the way up just so I could hit the notes because I'm not a singer but and then I humanized it a little bit I would boy to bring down the pitch because I felt like it was too it sounded too much like a chipmunk <laughs> that's the only way I can explain it but yeah so brought it down reverb to give it some width and then EQ'd another GZ GHZ uh low high give it a low low fi type of feel and then a chorus to just give it a different texture so what I've noticed about his beats he has a lot of choirs in them so I use like a choir pad that I used from expand so string voice sounds like this with all the, all the effects on basically just following the keys pattern took out some lows and a lot of highs just to, and just sat it in the background so it wasn't overpowering the beat because that's what most of his beats are like they just just there f to give it the feel of the emotional type of slow and it gives it a lot of more room for the drums as well because he's going to just be heavy on the drums so with this beat I wanted to give it like a, a background different counter melody but not, nothing too overpowering just something that I can make flutter and just give just that texture so I used a synth and just put it in the background like this. Took out a lot of just because I wanted to sit it back in the background and again not take up too much room in the frequency range. So I took out a lot of lows and a fair bit of highs because it's a very high pitch uh, sound. So I just need to remove them because I feel like I'd override the beat too much. The same thing, just a valve compressor, turn it up a little bit, just give it that flutter effect so it just feels more dark and emotional like I've said before. So as I like to do in all my beats, just add a perk in the background, just literally take out lows and highs and just sit in that background just to give it a little... Just a little bit of ear candy that you can't really tell, but it is there. So altogether, this melody sounds just like this.
obviously after this you can see I already tracked it out and then I brought it down a few semitones so it sounds like this. And then at the end, I just want to change a little bit of an outro, so make it more aesthetic. And I've reversed the main melody. So for Eli beats, as everyone knows, hard drums, hard 808s, and people think that there's some special way how to do this, and you need to cut out frequencies and that. To an extent, that's good but if you don't have the right samples it's not going to work so you need the correct samples just find a good sample and if you mix it right the drums will just knock and for what I do I normally put a soft clipper on just I don't know what it does but it stops the beat going over zero decibels and stops it from distorting so yeah I'll show you how to make the drums so the drums sound like this So what I did, hard hitting, turn the kicks up, and then just a normal hi-hat, just a two steps, and then I did a new hi-hat where I did rolls but panned them so they just crazy left to right, that's the sort of effect that he like, likes to use on his beats, and then just a casual hi-hat and perk just to give it that extra bounce, and then for the 808 it's just a simple pattern. It's just got to be a hard, distorted, bassy AI that just hits hard and fits perfect with the kick. So as you can see, I don't really have many plugins on uh, my drums. I hi hat with a reverb, take it out the lows and a bit of highs, and then the pan hi hat. I like to put a flanger on just to give it a stick and give it a cool texture. I feel, and just always has to be down below the hi-hat for levels because I feel like if it overrides the hi-hat it's just too much and then 808 I like to distort it and then with that distortion it'll be very high frequency so you just want to cut some of them out and it sounds good so yeah all together it sounds like this So yeah, that's pretty much it for this beat. Uh, so we added nice chords, pads, keys, and just a texture of vocals, just with heavy drums, and that's how it sounded. So I hope that helped. If you like this, please give it a like, give me a comment, tell me what I could do next, any videos, any tips that you want. I'm sure to make them. So yeah, subscribe, and yeah, hopefully stick around because I'm gonna upgrade my video production very soon. So yeah, thanks guys, peace.